Hi everybody, I'm Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts. I just wanted to show you something. I've gotten this question a few times from the Nexus of Alexis and a few other people. Like, if you're, you know, pouring your gold, we use a crucible, we coat it in borax, which I'm sure you hung on every moment of the video where I showed you how to coat it in borax and, and how to pour your gold. But like, how do you know when the crucible is, like, how, how do you know it's dead? How do you know it's time to get another one? And what I always said to Alexis is, oh, believe me, you'll know. Well. We had that moment, so we're gonna document it in the studio. So what happened was Alexis was heating and heating and heating, like we, and we've let it cool off a bit so it's not like glowing hot anymore. But she got to this point where she's heating and heating and heating and the gold kind of re-solidified. It kind of came together and it wasn't getting any hotter. And what happens is this, as your crucible gets, gets used and used, some of the borax that's on the side starts to kind of like travel down. And I'm sure you also remember, very important, when you prepare one of these crucibles, you don't want like a whole bunch of borax in there. Like I'm not one of those people that's like, add a little more every time because then you're just gonna get like a giant puddle in there. Because what can happen is this, when it all starts to climb down there and like cover your gold, if there's too much of it, it basically forms this puddle and it, it will become impossible for your gold to be liquid. Bye, Asia. <laughs> She's trying to do a stealthy <laughs> exit, so I'm just like, <laughs> the door squeaks. <laughs> Have a good day. See you next week. I would just like to tease Asia. She was trying to be so know, like, like, I'm tiptoeing, I'm quiet. If this forms enough of a puddle over it, it's like, you can't get it hot anymore. The borax becomes this sort of insulating dome and your gold won't get hot. And like I said, this is not hot right now, but basically we were like jiggling it and jiggling it and like nothing. So it's one of those things that you think, well, how will I know? I promise you, you will know because you'll be like, what the fuck? I can't get my gold hot anymore. You know what I mean? And it just sits there like a little uh, stinker like that. And you can see that it's pretty much completely covered, like maybe not every molecule, but just enough that it forms this like, I don't even know what the word for it. It's a, it's like a snow globe for your gold. <laughs> the, the heat will not get through it enough to get it liquid. So when that happens, there is no escape. It must be smashed apart. So another thing, now normally, if you look at the side of the crucible anyway, you notice there's always, the more you use these, you're gonna see, you know, little bits of gold and stuff like that. Now, you're not gonna be able, like, personally to get that gold out, but you're gonna wanna smash it up and save all that borax and put it in, like, with your sweeps or your filings or whatever, because, you know, that's gold. We wanna eventually refine it. Normally I just save it for when I'm doing like my big sweeps with the sandpaper and you know, the whole thing and I have them just like burn the whole thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how to smash this apart. Now you may be asking yourself, Jeanette, I already know how to fucking smash something. But the problem is this, borax, when it's in this glassy form, it's actually like it can be harder than steel and very sharp like little blades. So this is not the kind of thing you wanna just go and like hit with a hammer and those little bits are flying because you could do very serious damage to your eyeballs or someone else's eyeballs or whatever. So normally what I do, I mummify it in like a really old skanky towel, you know, like a few, a few layers and we're smashing up with a hammer, which I'm sure you can imagine what that's gonna look like, but we're gonna do it with you anyway. We're good. So I, I've taken the little crucible out of the handle. I'm gonna put it in here and I am going to like, make a lovely little package like this. We're gonna do this. This is the fun part. And notice by the way, goggles. It, the, those borax shards, no joke. This is not something to play around with. I'm usually joking around, but for this tiny moment, I'll say like, hey, this is really serious. You have to be careful because those little fuckers are sharp. If they get in your eyeball, you'll be very sorry. So we'll let it happen to you. It's part of that like, it's all fun and games when somebody loses an eye kind of thing. This is one of those. So be protected. And then you get to do the fun part, which is, it up and see what we have inside. It should have released our um, our ounce of gold, which we're gonna then sort of remelt and, and actually pour. 
and I'm going to save all the little kibbles and bits, which will eventually go to the refiner. So I'm also gonna like, um, hot pickle will remove some borax. I'll put it in the pickle. We can also take this and wrap it in a towel and smash it with a hammer. Like I'm gonna do whatever I have to to pretty much get the vast majority off. If there's a tiny bit in here, we're gonna put it in another brand new crucible with borax on like, so it's not the end of the world, but I just try to kind of like clean off the old gook and start afresh. So the gold has been released. Uh, someone was also saying to me last night, well, I hope that doesn't happen with mine. It will happen. They have a lifespan. Do you know what I'm saying? Like sooner or later, your crucible will have to be smashed apart <laughs> and you'll have to make a new one. But that's okay. This is the cycle of life. The golden egg has been birthed. <laughs> exactly. <Laid. laughs> so just to show you a little close up, you see what I mean? There's all the little bits with all the gold. So yeah, I just usually put this kind of like in a bag. I mean, I can keep smashing it up more to try to separate more of the ceramic crucible from the borax and the gold, which probably I will, but you've probably seen enough of me smacking things that you get you get the idea. But yeah, that's plenty of good gold in there that I'm gonna save and will eventually get recycled. So here is the shiny new crucible that we're going to use. As soon as it's pickled, it's going back in there and then it's going in the ingot mold. <laughs> So here's my gold. You see, I got about 95% of the, uh, the extra borax off of it. I'm not gonna worry about every tiny molecule because there's gonna be borax in the new crucible too. But there it is. And it's just gonna go blink in the new one and get heated up and be made into a beautiful ingot. So there's that same gold, all hot and jiggly in there. Basically, one of the more beautiful sights in the whole wide world. And there it is, all juicy and golden, ready for sheet, sheet, sheet. <laughs>